Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you something called magnetic refrigeration. I have here an element called gadolinium. Now gadolinium has an interesting property called magnetocaloric effect. So you can see that this gadolinium is attracted to magnets. So at this temperature, it's strongly paramagnetic, not quite ferromagnetic. But an interesting thing happens when these get attracted to the magnet. They actually change temperature. Let me show you what I mean. So I have two strong neodymium magnets here. In the center, I just have a gap right here. And then I just have a circular brass piece behind here as a guide. And then I have some gadolinium attached on a stick here. And there's a thermal couple attached to it. Okay, we're at 60.6 .6 degrees with the outside the magnetic field. But as soon as I slide it in, then it jumps up. It maxes out at 61.3 degrees. Then if you leave it in there, it drops back to room temperature. Then I pull it back out. And it cools down to below the temperature it was at before. We're at 60.3 degrees now. So put it in. It goes up. Pull it out and it drops down. So how is this working? When you apply a magnetic field to the gadolinium, it causes the magnetic domains to align. This reduces the degrees of freedom of the material so it can't vibrate as easily in one direction. So the entropy and heat capacity of the material decreases so it has to release some energy as heat which causes the temperature to rise. Then once you remove it from the magnetic field it regains its degrees of freedom and it can hold more heat and so it absorbs the heat that was released and the temperature decreases as a result. And the reason that gadolinium works so well for this is because it has a large change in magnetization right when it transitions from being paramagnetic to ferromagnetic. This is right around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. It's called its Curie point. You can see this when you put two pieces of a ferromagnetic near a magnet, they'll become their own magnet and stick together. But when I use gadolinium above 68 degrees Fahrenheit, it won't do this. But if I just cool it down a little bit, they'll stick together because they're now ferromagnetic. But when they warm up a little bit in my hand, they won't stick together anymore because they're now paramagnetic. So gadolinium will have this effect anywhere near its Curie point of 68 degrees F. It doesn't need to be right at that temperature though, it works anywhere near. Like when I used it in my garage, it was only 60 degrees and it still worked. The further you are away from 68 degrees Fahrenheit, the worse it works. Now what I've shown here with the gadolinium is comparable to another process where you compress a gas and it heats up and when you expand it, it cools down. Now this is the method that we currently use for almost all refrigeration systems. So in magnetic refrigeration, what you do is you replace the compressor and evaporator with a magnet and gadolinium that's alternating back and forth. So you can heat it when it's in a magnetic field, and then you remove that heat with some heat transfer system, and then you can cool it down, and that cooled down system can collect heat from whatever you're trying to cool. So if you use a system like this, you can use heat exchangers and a water-based fluid to transfer heat from the inside of the cooler to the outside. This type of refrigeration is really cool because you can get extremely low temperatures and also you don't have to use fluorocarbons which pollute the atmosphere. So, so far magnetic refrigeration isn't really used commercially because it's so hard to get such a large temperature delta. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And you can also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out Action Lab Shorts, which is a second channel I have where I do videos similar to this channel, but I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.